So we established from the last part that with this particular array that's returned from parse URL, we might not have all of this information given the data that we passed through to this function. And that leaves us with an undefined index of whichever value we're trying to destructure. Now, this is a massive problem because it almost seems like we've used something that's really, really nice and clean and easy. But then when we hit a problem like this, we think, well, we're just going to have to go back to the old solution and perhaps start to use some checks to pluck this query out only if it exists. Well, that's not necessarily the case. And I'm going to give you a little tip here on how you can get around this issue. Now, unfortunately, what we can't do is use anything like a null coalesce operator. So we can't say something like, well, if this is an available, we want to use null. We can't do that, uh, unfortunately, within destructuring. But what we can actually do is we can either, if you wanted to use array merge, merge in with the result you get back from parse URL, the default that you want to use. So let's say that you were after the host and query, but the host is let's say always available via your validation rules but the query isn't you can define out a default in here for the query and that can be any value you want because you're merging in the result of parse url with your particular value so i might want to say well i want the query value to be null if it's not available and that pretty much solves our problem now we've got the host being pulled out here and the null value being pulled out here because of course when we destructure this we're just pulling out this value here that we've added in manually ourselves. Whereas if we add in the query string in here now, what that's going to do is actually not quite work. <laughs> and then the reason for that, and I'm going to talk about this in a minute, is with array merge, the behavior is slightly different to the other solution we're going to look at. What we would actually have to do is move the defaults back to the start of this if we wanted that behavior. So if you give that a refresh now, you actually get the result you want. So you have to be really careful with these kind of workarounds that you don't end up uh, breaking anything. So again, if I get rid of the query string here, we end up with null. But particularly with array merge, uh, this needs to come first. Now, there's a much cleaner way to do this and a much uh, better way in terms of adding in or merging in the defaults. And that is simply to add two arrays together, which again has a slightly different way of working to array merge so let's get rid of this kind of defaults uh, part here and let's pull this back to how we had it before with parse url and let's just give this a refresh you can see we get the query string here and of course if we get rid of the query string we're back to square one we get that undefined index query now like i said what you can do is you can add on that array and that works different to array merge in the sense that if this value is available, this won't be merged in. And if it is, isn't available, of course, it will be merged in because we have that value in there already. So basically, just the preference that this takes in terms of merging these two arrays together. So let's go over and give that a refresh. You can see that that has solved our problem. It's a lot cleaner. This has all been done in one line. May not be a good thing, but at least for something as small as this, it's absolutely fine. Now let's go ahead and add that query string in. Let's see the difference that we get here. Remember the array merge, when we had that after, it didn't quite work, but with this, it does. So this is a really neat, elegant solution to the problem that we've come up against. And the great thing about this is, obviously we're working in a really simple, flat PHP file at the moment. But the great thing about this is what you can actually do is, let's say you're working in a class or something similar, uh, in, in your maybe in your config or something you had a list of defaults that you wanted to use for this you can define them elsewhere which makes a lot of sense so you know you might have a long list of defaults that you want to use for this that just makes it a little bit more elegant so we're adding the defaults in but then we're overwriting them if they're available and then of course we go ahead and use array destructuring to pull them out